It is a real great honor for me to stand here. This is our motherland, and we have received overwhelming, genuine welcome. And in the true spirit, African spirit, we say that the visitor is the queen and the king. Before gender became alive, we always used to say, the visitor is the king. I think we recognize the historical importance of Uganda. We are here at the shores of the River Nile. And of course, Uganda holds the Olympic medal for being the source of the Nile. And we are very fortunate to be here. It is my pleasure and honor to welcome you at the 23rd Global Symposium for Regulators, our unique platform for regulatory dialogue to fast track universal sustainable digital transformation. I'm pleased and energized to see all of you here. We look forward to tapping into your collective wisdom, experience, and inputs as we craft regulatory solutions to tackle some of the most pressing challenges of our time. I would like to thank the host, the government of Uganda, for the warm welcome and hospitality extended to all of us. And this goes, of course, to the people of Uganda. To our friends at the Uganda Communications Commission, happy to celebrate Silver Jubilee as you celebrate 25 years of success, growth, and resilience. Many of you may ask why GSR? For more than two decades, the Global Symposium for Regulators, or GSR, as popularly known by many of you, has been the global platform for exchange of best regulatory practices for ICT and the digital regulation. It is the cradle of innovative approaches to extending universal and meaningful access to digital technologies for all, and also to strengthening markets, and that's where the private sector comes in. This is why we are here today, and the GSR provides a platform for sharing good practices and advancing the global regulatory agenda from the oldest to the youngest regulatory agencies over the years and under one roof. GSR has been a formidable bedrock for shaping the landscape of our great sector. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, this is traditionally a getting together of ICT regulators, but we realize regulation does not operate in a vacuum. We recognize the role of policy, and that is why we also have ministers here present to contribute to the conversation. We recognize the critical role of the private sector and industry, and that is why we also have the captains of industry here with us. We need sound regulatory frameworks, well-functioning markets for related services and continued investment in a resilient and diverse connectivity options. This is GSR 24. What is unique about it? This edition is about more than ever charting new pathways towards regulatory agility collaborative practices and excellence so that we can keep up with the fast pace of change and make impact on people's lives through digital. The master of ceremony began by saying, we don't talk about technology, we talk about solutions. I go a step further, we talk about the impact and the change that it makes in people's lives. I have no doubt that together we can craft regulatory solutions for impact. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, for the next three days, Kampala will be the capital for the global dialogue and the governance of transformative technologies, a topic at the heart of national and UN development agendas. I almost wanted to say it is going to be the Olympics of the ICT sector. Transformative technologies all around 
offers a renewed promise to accelerate progress towards the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals while driving change across the board. Crafting open, agile, and risk-based governance frameworks for transformative technologies has become a policy imperative and a stepping stone towards the building inclusive digital economies. This year, at this GSR, here in Kampala, we have brought before you two important topics so that together we explore the challenges and opportunities that come with artificial intelligence and the nascent of space economy. You will also explore how regulation can keep pace with innovation, how regulators and regulation can become more agile and unlock the potential of emerging transformative technologies for development while minimizing associated risks. This GSRS best practice guidelines, informed by your wisdom and experience, provide a blueprint for charting the course of transformative technologies for positive impact. The guidelines will be instrumental to the global regulatory community to build successful governance initiatives and amplify the positive impact of digital. I want to thank all the regulators for contributing to the GSR 24 best practice guidelines, consultations, and the GSR chair, Mr. Tembo, for your leadership. Before concluding, I want to thank all of you who have participated and who participated yesterday and this morning in the events preceding GSR 24. The annual regional regulator association and the digital regulation network DNR meeting that took place yesterday was a full house. And you know, this is very close to my heart. I launched the DRIN network last year, and I think it is achieving exactly what we hoped it would achieve. During this event, approaches to harmonize broadband mapping systems across sub-Saharan Africa were also presented. I will make an exciting announcement about a great project that we are launching on broadband mapping systems later this afternoon. The Industry Advisory Group on Development Issues and Private Sector Chief Regulatory Officers Meeting, which we held this morning, offered perspectives of industry to regulators. We look forward to the outcome statement, which will be presented on the last day of GSR. The Heads of Regulators Executive Roundtable by decision makers on a reimagining regulation for positive social and economic impact, inspired by this year's GSR consultation, also took place. The meeting adopted the 2024 GSR best practice guidelines, a tool for regulators to unleash the power of transformative technologies for positive impact. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, GSR 24 will bring the global community of regulators even closer, together, and united. We'll still stand ready to address the challenges ahead and capitalize on digital technologies to shape a resilient future for all. Addressing government ministries, regulators, and industry, I think it is apt to say united we stand and divided we fall. We have to work together. This premier event will be rich in exchanges, learnings, networkings, and hopefully the beginning of lasting connections. The pace of technological change is much faster now than it has ever been in the past. Policy regulations, legislative frameworks struggle to keep up. That remains a challenge for all of us. But I have unwavering confidence in our readiness to conquer these ob the obstacles. We can and will rise to these challenges we are ready to continue to dive into this journey and emerge even stronger on the other side. Thank you very much for listening.